Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down there so you don't miss any of our exciting upcoming content. Today we're doing something a little different. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to catch nuisance raccoons using Duke's DP traps. Now raccoons can be a huge problem on your farm. They'll steal your eggs, they'll kill your chickens. They can be a big problem to homeowners. They can chew holes in your house and tear up your property, get into your trash. And if you're an outdoorsman in one of the states where you can hunt over bait, they will empty your protein and corn game feeders super quickly. So they become a big problem. So today, we're going to teach you how to use the Duke's traps as opposed to an expensive steel cage trap. You can set several of these Duke traps for a reasonable amount of money and catch multiple raccoons because these guys usually don't come in ones. They usually come in big groups. So you want to catch all of them or at least as many as you can to remove the problem. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Today we're going to be talking about quick and easy way to catch nuisance raccoons. If you're in one of the nine states where you can hunt over bait and have feeders like this one right here, then it's a matter of time before you're going to have problems with raccoons. As you see on this feeder right here, I have a giant cage around it to keep the raccoons out. It does a pretty good job but there's still apparently some super raccoons that can reach through and they will literally hang on that feeder all night long, spinning the plate, knocking corn out. So there's nothing like coming back to do a hog hunt. You've been seeing hogs on trail camera and you come back to want to do a hog hunt and your feeder's out. Well, it's one of the most important things to keep hogs in the area. You've got to keep your feeders full because if your neighbors are feeding, and your feeder stops they're going to make their new home over there so like i said in this video we're going to focus on how to catch nuisance raccoons using duke's dog proof traps they look just like this they have a spring in them i don't know if we'll be able to see in there or not they're spring loaded the spring pops in the very bottom of this there's a little lever a little arm down there you fill this up with bait and the raccoon reaches in there to pull the bait out they pull this lever and the spring pops and it locks their arm in place it holds them in place it's like a pair of handcuffs until you come back and get them the next day so we are going to show you how to catch raccoons around your feeders or if you're a fur trapper if you're a fur trapper you probably already know how to catch raccoons but you can trap them. There is a season to sell their fur or pelts if that's what you want to do, but stay within season. And we have a visitor too. That's one of our pets. I named her Lucy. And uh, Lucy, of course, never gets shot. We're after hogs. Hey, Lucy. Yeah, she's just talking back. But anyway, we are going to show you how to set a Duke's trap, what kind of bait I like to use, and how to get rid of these raccoons that are empty in my feeder when I should be. Now you've got a few choices with these kind of traps. You can do like I'm gonna do. Oops. Buy these 50, 60 cent little clamps at Lowe's or Home Depot. And you can put it around the leg of the feeder. Or you can buy stakes, drive them in the ground, and that'll keep the coon in place. What you don't wanna do is just stick this in the ground and walk off. The coon will get its leg caught in the trap and it, your trap's gone. It's going to drag it off to never be seen again. Okay, I'm going to take my Duke's dog proof trap. And these, by the way, can be purchased for about $12, $13 on Amazon. This is a trap setting tool. It's not necessary, but it does make the job easier. All I do to do this job is thread the tool through here. Press down. And then lock the lever in place with this trigger mechanism. The raccoon reaches down in there. He's going to be grabbing the bait out. And when he pulls, snap, his arm is caught. So this one is fully set. Now we're going to go set it on the feeder. You're going to want the spring side facing away from any objects. You, don't, you wouldn't want the spring to pop into the feeder leg. You want this to be free to pop the full power. Okay, push it in the ground. 
loop this around the feeder leg. Secure the clamp back to the chain. Might want to carry around a pair of pliers just to snug the clamp just a hair. Okay. Now that trap is ready to be baited now. now. All I really need for bait is these mini marshmallows. Uh, we are in Texas. It's about 95 degrees right now. So anything I put in that little metal barrel, if I do it in midday, these marshmallows are going to melt and get gooey. And what it's going to cause to happen is... You know, it's going to be a gooey bottom in the in that trap, and the raccoon is going to continuously scoop at it and keep going in for one more handful of sticky stuff because they actually have quite a sweet tooth. Okay, first and foremost, this trap is fully set, as I showed you, and we're going to fill it full of marshmallows. You always want to keep your fingers out of the trap. Okay, we've got that trap full, stuff full, and they got a few appetizers on the ground. I'm gonna take this fish oil, which cost about $12 on Amazon, and I'm gonna put that around the rim of this trap. And that's just something that the raccoons can smell from a long ways off to pull them in close. Okay, uh, I'm gonna set about seven of these traps tonight to it several feeders and uh we'll come back check them in the morning so my primary thing that i was trying to accomplish this trip was to fill all my feeders so um i actually went out it's 99 100 degrees during the daytime here in texas this month uh well this week and uh i decided to go ahead and do the feeders at nighttime and i came back by the feeder that i set the traps up first and already have one so you can see these things work and they work fast so we're going to go ahead and take care of this one reset the traps and we'll make another round in the morning it's just been a few minutes later uh, i just drove past this one earlier from filling it up probably not even 20 minutes ago and we already got one here so i'm going to take care of this one and then reset it we're going to take care of this guy, reset the trap, and then come back and check in the morning. So we got another one. It is still nighttime. Uh, it hasn't even been three or four hours since I've set these traps. All right, we're back out in the fields the next morning. And uh, actually, last night, uh, we caught five of them before even midnight. And... I reset all the traps, and now we're going to make our run and check through these seven traps. We have five so far. This guy and that trap is empty, so stop number two. Look at that corn thief. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're cute and cuddly and nice, aren't they? Let's stop number three. We've got two traps set here. Uh, we actually caught one here last night and one more now, so this makes eight. Well, guys, it is morning number two. And we are about to go out and run the traps again and see what we got. Well, first stop of the second morning. And I've got, how many traps? I have two traps on this set. And we have raccoon number nine. I'm going to take care of this fella and reset these traps. Well, we are at our next feeder. And this is a surprise. I've never had this happen before. Well, this was unexpected. In my years here, I've never managed to catch a fox in a dog-proof trap. <laughs> a full disclosure, I've never tried this before. I'm going to try it with nothing but a pair of gloves and my hands. Uh, a lot of guys might ask me, hey, why not just get rid of that guy too? You know, they do major damage to the turkey population. Uh, these guys feast on the poults or the uh, baby turkeys. But I have no interest in that. Uh, our turkey population is in check and these guys are in check. 
So I'm gonna try to release this guy and let's see how this goes. <laughs> That went better than I imagined it would have. So let's turn this guy loose. Well, that went better than expected. Although uh, this little fox did want to bite my face off. Um, I grabbed him by the scruff of a neck, just like a uh, mother dog would pick up a puppy to move it. And uh, once I grabbed a hold of that, uh, the fox completely subdued and was able to remove the trap off its leg and it ran off safely. So we're gonna reset this trap and hopefully we'll catch some more coons tonight. Well, hopefully y'all learned something from that video that'll be beneficial to you. If you enjoyed this content and you wanna see more of it, uh, drop me a comment down there. Hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Hit that subscribe button and I look forward to bringing you more future content here on J Slot Outdoors. Thank you for joining us and see y'all next time.